hello let us see the different type of operators in this language c or c++ language basically we have two type of operators one type of operators are arithmetic operators the operators which are used for addition subtraction multiplication division and all and the second category is logical operators in this video we are going to see the arithmetic operators and how it is used so we will do a small program we will use some variables a b and sum a b and answer all are integer variables in their values for a and b here percentage d for integer we are going to read two characters sorry two integers we need two percentage d's and we have to give the name of the variables ampersand a comma ampersand b so in this program we have three variables a b and the answer a b we are going to get some values from the user using this scan of percentage d that's the integer type formatting string used in the scan of function a and b are the variables which are going to save the values which the user is going to give during the execution of the program okay now the values are ready for a and b let us go for some calculation we will see the arithmetic operators first of all the operator plus n is equal to a plus b and the answer is going to be in answer is percentage d the answer is going to be stored in the variable ans see this ans is the variable name it is case case sensitive while declaration we have given a as capital upper case a and the rest of the characters are lower cases we have to use the same way in the rest of the places in the program so we are giving ans that is the place where we are going to save the answer ans is percentage d that we will get the answer displayed there okay let us try the program control f9 so we have to enter two numbers 1 and 2 the answer is 3 this is what addition is and if you want to calculate the difference between two numbers then we can use the minus operator a minus b that answer will be calculated and the value will be assigned to the variable ans control f9 2 and 1 the difference is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 it's working and we can use the operator we can use the operator into so a multiplied by b that value will be stored in the ans and the value will be displayed 2 into 3 6 okay that's working and we will try a divided by b control f9 let us give a as 10 b as 5 answer is 2 even that is working We'll try it once again. And all of nine, we will give some other values: seven and two. The answer is three. So the value is rounded off. Remainder is.
skipped so 2 by 3 sorry 7 by 2 so the remainder value is skipped the reason is we are using integer data types in a b and answer and in the answer we cannot show the fractions so that's why it is got skipped if you want the exact result then we should change the data type to float float a b and a n s in that case we have to give percentage f percentage f and percentage f here control f9 we can give the value 7 by 2 the answer is 3.50000 if you want more precision in the answers then we can go for the floating data type otherwise we can go with integer data types And we have one more operator here. I'm going to use one more variable rem is a modulus b that is remainder operator. The answer will be calculated and it will be stored here in the answer and the remainder will be stored in the RAM. We should print this also and the balance is percentage T. Balance is percentage D and we can give comma R E M. Okay. We will save this program as operator operator one dot c. Okay, let us run this program and see it. I suppose this will give error. Control F9. There is one error. Undefined symbol error. Okay, if you are getting such errors. If we go through the error message, we can find what is the reason of having that error. Undefined symbol rem. We have used rem, but it is unknown, undefined to the system, this program. So we have to define that variable rem. Let us try in this way. Again, control F9. Still the error is coming. The reason is this RAM uh, is different from that RAM. So this one we have to make it capital, uppercase R. Then I suppose there won't be any errors. So 7 and 2. Answer is 3 and balance is 1. Now we are getting the remainder. So among the arithmetic operators we have the basic 4 operators plus minus that is for addition subtraction and the operator is for multiplication and division additionally we have one more operator that operator is modulus operator or the remainder operator the symbol we are using is percentage this operator will be useful for many arithmetic calculations try this program with all the operators